Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial we're gonna start digital storyboarding. Yay, finally, right? Um, so, uh, there are a couple of topics that I want to cover in this and I'm gonna go through them. So the first thing would be, as always, house cleaning and file management. Okay, so <clears throat> I created that, uh, you know, a folder just for this. Um, digital storyboarding and as you can see here I have these different folders here um, this is a story of sketches this is where all your storyboard frames go the ones that you submitted for the assignment right so as an example I here downloaded Harley's storyboard as you can see here so these are going to be the sources that we're going to use to draw the digital version of our story on okay um, so this is a story of sketches. This is the PSD files that they're gonna have like millions of layers. And this is like the files that you export like as a final storyboard frame, right? And if you have dialogue, um, you can, <coughs> sorry, you can have this um, text file, write down, type in, uh, type in all your dialogues so you can copy and paste them. Uh, as a text in the, you know in a bar underneath your storyboard okay um, so let's begin the first thing um, so I exported my um, brush setting like a couple of brushes brushes um, that I use most of the times for storyboarding and I put them in if you go to file section and then go to Photoshop stuff this is the brushes that I exported from uh, my workspace in Photoshop so if you want to use them um, you can just download them and then I'm gonna show you how to import them into Photoshop okay so I'm gonna just download this here download and then um, so that's that I'm just gonna bring it in like I'm gonna start uh, create a new folder here that's like Photoshop Photoshop stuff and I'm gonna put this brushes that I just downloaded here okay so so the first thing, house cleaning, arranging folders and renaming them and putting all your storyboard images um, inside that folder, right? So what's the next thing? Let's just open Photoshop, right? Okay. So you open Photoshop and you go to create new. <clears throat> and here you're gonna choose film and video and the first thing in the list is HDTV 1920 by 1080 and the resolution is 72 pixel. That's what we want. So you're just going to do create. And as you can see, this, um, this default layout and uh, image size is going to be created for you. Okay. Um, so those of you who took the survey, um, all of you were saying that you're familiar with Photoshop, so I'm not gonna go through like the basic stuff. Um, so let's say, let's let's do this, okay. So if you have changed so many stuff like for photo editing or any other uh, use that you might have for Photoshop, you can just go in here and change your workspace to different things. I'm just gonna go to painting and because I want this to match yours, you know, if you first time uh, open this painting workspace, you can just reset the painting. Oh, I haven't changed much, so this is how it's gonna look like if you go to the painting workspace, okay? So we have our empty frame ready to go. So let's see what we're gonna do here. So you're gonna open the sketches that you had like first one you can open that and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna just copy and paste them one by one into that frame resize them and start um, like drawing them digitally and more in a more clean and concise manner and 
um, then we're gonna we're gonna have more options if we want to change frame sizes if we want to add um, like frames anything like uh, you did the critic session uh, now so and I'm gonna put all the comments that you have received um, when I grade your assignments so you're gonna have access to everything and you have already wrote them down so you know what are the adjustments that you want to make to your frames and story so from now on we're going to continue doing this with um, digital pen <coughs> because that's easy to modify okay and from the survey i can say that most of you agreed right okay so let's do that um what we're going to do is that we're going to go to selection tool and i'm not gonna well well, you're going to start, you know, doing them one by one, but I'm going to just uh, drag the one that like looks easier to me. Um, so I'm just going to drag a rectangle around here, select this, hitting down uh, Control C on my keyboard for copying. And then I'm going to go back to my original scene that I want to draw storyboards on and do Control V. Okay. So now I just need to adjust this to the size. So I'm going to resize this using Control T. And I'm going to hold down Shift because I want this to be scaled proportionally. OK? And I'm doing this. And you need to make some adjustments because the index cards or like the um, frames that you draw might not uh, match this um, HDTV setting. But that's uh, what we're going to use because we might want to do like animatics and export them as movies and you need to add her to the setting that matches like um, display settings that you want to display your videos on okay so i'm gonna hit enter now it's almost ready let's just save this file i'm gonna do Control s and i'm gonna save this into story psd i'm just gonna call this sd01 and save. Maximize capacity. Don't show this again to me. Okay. So now I'm going to just zoom out. If your tablet is connected to your computer, you can just use the uh, scroll, that ring thingy on the Wacom tablet and zoom in and zoom out. If you don't have your Wacom tablet connected, you can hit Z for zooming. And if you click, it's gonna zoom. If you do alt click, it's gonna zoom out, okay? So now we have our base um, sketch ready. I'm just gonna turn down the opacity because I wanna be able to see only the lines. And I'm gonna create a new layer and that's where I'm gonna start drawing um, like the outlines of the characters, the scene, everything. So at this stage, let's just import that uh, brush set that I exported, okay? So it's really easy. You just go to Brush tab and you click here on this burger, whatever menu thing that it is called, and you do Import Brushes. Then you're going to find that brush that you just downloaded from Canvas. I put it in the story the Photoshop stuff. I'm just going to click on it and say load. Hmm. Where did it go? Oh, it's here. Okay. So I'm just going to open this. Oh, put it into two folders. I can just drag it out and delete this one, which is empty. Yes, I want to delete this. Okay, so these are the brushes that I use most of the times for storyboarding. You can choose to use them if you find them helpful, or you can always create your own brush setting and use that. Um, uh, so let's say you connected your Wacom tablet to your computer. The first thing would be to check if you have the drivers um, for Wacom tablet. If you don't have driver for Wacom tablet, the way that I didn't have that, you can go to Vacom, you can just type in Vacom driver, hit enter, it's going to bring you to this page here. You can just open that, and here there's a list of the drivers. Like these are the old ones, these are the new ones. You can just click on this 
uh, arrow thing here and see if mm, you know find the model of your Intus uh, Wacom tablet and uh, download the driver if you haven't done so already. Okay, so mine was an old uh, Intus 4. Uh, this has been my companion of 10 years or so. So I just downloaded this old driver, previous drivers, because here I can see that it is Intus, Intus 5, Intus 4. This is mine. So I downloaded this, but if you have recently bought your um, digital fan Wacom tablet, you should probably uh, download it from here. So just click on these icons uh, in these arrows, find your driver and just download it. Okay. So when you downloaded your Wacom uh, driver, you can find it by, if you're on a Windows machine, just type in Wacom here. It's the same thing with the um, MacBooks or iOS operating systems. Uh, so if you type in Wacom, it's gonna bring you this Wacom tablet properties. Just gonna open this and just have it handy. It's, it's, it's a good tool. Uh, start using that if you haven't done so already. So I'm just going to pin this to the taskbar. So here, so the first thing you want to do is to map the area that you're painting um, you want to use, right? If you're using two monitors, you need to adjust the setting so that it matches whatever that you want to do, right? So here, because I have two monitors by default, so okay, you select your device, you go to grip pen, applications all, and here, um, mine was set to cool like this and when I was drawing stuff here it, it was like what it is I, I couldn't control it okay so I just went in and just set it up to only see this for uh, this monitor okay you can just do it by going to screen area and say you know choose the monitor that you want it's gonna show you here that, oh, I'm gonna map the area on your on your Wacom tablet here to this monitor. And that's exactly what I want. And tablet area, I want uh, the full area of my tablet. I don't want a portion of that, so I'm just gonna set it to full. I don't wanna use Windows Ink, I don't know what it is, so I just check this off. So now, if I just use my pen, I can just start drawing. As you can see here, I put like a blue sketch thingy here. Um, so for resizing the brush, you know, it is, um, what is this icon called? Next to O and P. Okay, so if you use them, it's for resizing your brush size. So you can use this blue one for sketching. I can see that it is not tilting. Is it on? Okay. It is supposed to be tilting a little bit. Okay, never mind. So to undo, it's Control Alt Z. That's really like so many uh, like pushing buttons for getting to undo. Um, what you can do is that's what I always do actually. So I go here and I go to functions. So you can set up these uh, keys for different uh, applications in such a way that when you open up that application, these keys are gonna change to whatever that you set them here. So the pen, I don't wanna set that setting for Photoshop, but for the functions of these keys, um, I wanna set them up for Photoshop. So I'm just gonna click on this plus next to application. And it's weird that it doesn't show Photoshop by default because it is open now. Uh, so you can browse and find it. That's gonna be something. Mm -mm -mm. Photoshop, okay, found it. So I click okay, okay, okay. So now you can see that I can set these keys like this set up here for all the application. I can also customize it for Photoshop and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna do like Control Alt Z each time that I want to undo, right? So I'm gonna just set it to be this top, um, this top button here. Um, yeah. So I'm going to I'm gonna by default it is set to setting. I'm gonna change this to 
if I remember color correctly, keyboard keystroke. So I don't know why they named it this, but if you click on it, you can see that you can enter keyboard shortcuts here. So as it opens up, I'm just gonna do Control Alt Z, and you can see that it appears here. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna name this undo, and I'm gonna hit OK. So now it's on my on my vacuum tablet. I cannot show you this because it is not on a screen, but it shows undo here. Yours might be different because we have different vacuum tablets, but. I don't think the application is that much different. So you always go to keystroke and just um, do whatever you want to do with the keyboard shortcuts and it's going to record that. And you can name it and you can always use it. So now if I go back here and I draw something I don't like it, I can just hit the, you can hear this click clicky thing, which is my um, Wacom buttons. I'm just pushing that instead of holding down Control Alt Z. So you can do this for multiple things, like uh, look up the brushes or whatever thing, whatever tool that you use the most and just you can set it up uh, for your uh, Wacom buttons, okay? Um, so I'm just drawing this really poorly, don't mind that. And let's say that's it, exactly what I want. Don't put so many lines that you don't need here, the way that I do. And so to rotate your um, a screen, because it's hard to just, you know, draw everything. Like when you draw, you rotate your paper. So it would be nice to be able to do that. It's the short key, the shortcut is R. So if you hold down R, you can just rotate your screen. B is for brush. Just do this, and E is for eraser. I'm just gonna get rid of these, get rid of these. I also put this eraser here, eraser brush, because sometimes it's easier for me to just um, select the brush and eraser here instead of just tilting my pen and use the brush that is on the back, okay? Um, and one other suggestion is that to separate the background from the character. If you wanna draw the background, uh, draw it in a separate layer, probably with a different brush that is not as thick. We were supposed to be a thin brush. Um, probably, okay, there is something wrong with this Wacom tablet setting. We need to fix that, but um, for now I'm just gonna make it really, it doesn't understand my uh, the pressure setting, that's what it is. I need to go in and fix that. So I'm gonna pause the video here and find that and show you where it is. So, you know, in case you needed to fix that too. So let's just pause the video here and we're gonna continue in the next video.